Through the ages, man has tried to understand nature. Some did by making models with math. Some captured what they saw with text. And others with visual representations of reality. Great Renaissance men like Leonardo da Vinci not only were scientists, but also crafted artists. We still use visualizations similar to that of da Vinci's. A lot are generated via the tools we have today like MRI and 3D scans. But to better understand and learn, we still need great craftsmen and artists to translate what we see in a form that makes understanding easy. Hi guys, I'm Mieke Root, freelance scientific illustrator and I have a plan for a great project. Last year I made a cutaway of an octopus for CAC, a popular scientific magazine in the Netherlands. For this octopus I dissected the real one for accuracy. As it goes, only last September I wrote a blog about it and mentioned it on Twitter. My timeline exploded. I got reactions from all over the world and people I really admire told me how much they liked what I did. This is what I was working for. This is what I want to do with the rest of my life and people really like it. A few weeks later I asked my timeline what animal I should do next and John Hutchinson, professor of biomechanics from the Royal Veterinary College at the University of London, responded with how about a crocodile? To cut a long story short, next year I am going to dissect one or more Nile crocodiles as accurate as possible to be able to make it into a 3D model. Specialists on lungs, breathing, heart, head and neck of these animals will help me in getting the most of the data I will collect. I will convert a 3D model into products that can be used at universities and museums, for example but also will be interesting for the general public. Think of posters of the crocs, apps, animations and books. This, as far as we know, has never been done before with now crocodiles. The project will take me a year or more. In that year, like with the octopus, I will give an insight in text and visuals on what it is to engage in such endeavor. To be able to do so, I will need to fly to London regularly and although I can probably make the model to a far extent on my current hardware, I will have to invest in a lot more capacity. Guys, I can't wait to start!